I, I have a keyboard here. I honestly don't know why I have a keyboard here. I'm not, like, good enough to know what all the hotkeys do. I play with a mouse only. Um, love this game. Don't know any of the cool keystroke hot commands, apart from chatting in the game, but we're doing campaign, so it doesn't really matter. Not be like, get good, you scrub, Joan of Arc is bay. When we when we first had we before we installed the graphics pack while I was uploading, Brendan chose this fucking virgin worker guy and like, okay, whatever, but buff Santa with the kegs. I mean, come on. Hi. I'm Micah. Brendan's I'm, only friend. I'm I'm Brendan. Micah's only friend. That's not true. One of my other friends is in the bedroom laughing at us. Ah. Uh, one of. One of, yes. The only other friend. The only other roommate, but I, I have many friends. I have... I There's this guy at uh, the bank who smiled at me. And, um... The... Um, so, anyways, we're playing Age of Empires 2. So, to, to get a warm-up going, and it's noon, so Also, we're... you um, should probably be careful not to say any slurs. Are you, cutting, are you cutting into my bit? I was literally going to say it's noon, so we're going to get started. So, we better not do anything... Care now, look, here's the deal, guys. Okay. I know sometimes Twitch streamers have a problem where... They just, you know, accidentally break out with the slurs because it's a common occurrence that could happen to anybody. That was a ghost. Okay. And moving on. Common occurrence. Anybody can happen. But I like to think I'm better than that. So no matter how much the urge might strike me, I promise I will refrain from saying the word Karen. Oh, God damn it. It's not my fault. Fuck. Cromlock is over party. Okay, whatever. All right. And that was the incredibly cringy bit to open the episode with. Da -da 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 -da. You, um, he had that planned. I did. You, I did. You, you had that plan. He had that plan from uh, like a couple days ago. I, I want to point out that he's dogging me out about it now that it has. We not lost a viewer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye, Karen. We're going God. to build a castle, and then we're going to destroy the English castle. Real simple. The uh, the Scots are restricted to a population limit of one hundred. Jasper, there's no more pizza. Get. Just Cat's like going it. into a pizza box. Love it. The scenario uses the advanced commands interface. Well, you're not new, blah, blah, blah. Same old, same old. Scott's blue. We'll fight on one battle against English Paul Kirk. News. Red on four ships. Yeah. Okay. Nothing new with the re-enhancement. Um, it does look beautiful. Okay, this is what I love. Look at this. You have some walls already, but you should complete them as soon as you have enough stone. Zoom in with the mouse wheel. That is my favorite feature by far. Man, that's sexy. Okay. Okay, guys, practice social distancing. There we go. I remember how much that blew me away when I first saw it, just seeing how they just stay in formation. Yeah, that's by far one of my favorite features of the game. It, I actually felt like I was controlling an army instead of a rabble of NPCs. Rob Wigan. Playing Age of Empires 1 back in the old days with THMS's Age of Empires Club. Yes, that was the thing my sister started. Um, and it was just like, here's this great scenario. You're going to take these Egyptian armies. You're going to destroy Rome or whatever it was. You can then use the gold to buy what you need. Thank you, narrator. I know. He sounds like Shea Gorth in the original. The Castle Age! Apparently we've already advanced to the Wall Age. So this is the kind of uh, this is the kind of first class comedy that you're going to be getting. I, I want to point out that we had a much better sound setup with a microphone with a pop filter pointing at only me, but Brendan insisted he be heard. And this is what you're getting out of it. Then note the combat stance buttons in the lower left corner of the screen. Shut up! I gotta be able to turn this guy off. Options. This is this is gripping. I know. Audio, menu narration, tooltips. Oh, good. I can't. Confirm. Okay. I can turn- oh wait, voice volume. Hot damn. English! Watch the unit speech be muted. 
Yep. Yep. Oh, it's okay. I will somehow live without hearing the same three lines of dialogue every five seconds. This is... <laughs> this is the most leisurely raid. <laughs> He's just a... I'm just exploring the town, guys. What's the matter? God. Zero stars on Yelp. My God. What, what the fuck? Did, what are you doing? Is he still... Is he still it, alive? It, I, yeah, yeah, he's over here. That just he's, he's the horse. <sighs> Can't <not> run narrow. <laughs> oh goody! <laughs> you are being attacked by three English. Oh god. That was our good friend uh, Stecken asking us uh, if it's uh, versus a co-op. It's versus the NPCs, Stecken. Um, we are currently combating the English, and they are just doing a bang-up job. We had one here just walking around town. Oh, I forgot to reset the farms to seed. This is why we're doing a tutorial mission, guys. It's been a while. It's been a hot minute since I played this game. Isn't there a way to auto... Yeah, there is, using the mill. I forgot to do it. Not enough wood. Well, guess what you guys are doing? Go get some wood. Mm. I think I have enough food. Is that, is that accurate? Food stockpile. This is why I marked this channel NSFW. You just told them all to get wood. Yeah. So what's up, Brennan and Micah? Hello. Going good, man. How about yourself? Living the dream. And we've got Ah! That's white people speak for miserable. How about you? <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Um, I like Pretty that. Much, yeah. I like that my castle really close to the gate, because I like to be able to mobilize units faster. And also, villagers are an important strategy for me, because I'm very much a nomad. Um, because why drag and mobilize units all the way from your home when you can bring the army with you? Okay. That's gonna take an exhausting amount of time. How about you two join them? And as soon as we get the castle up, we'll have some world raiders and William Wallace join us, and then we'll be ready to party. Uh, I do need a siege workshop, though. Oh! <laughs> Zoom in on them. Just... <laughs> That's the kind of quality military tactics that only the English can give you. Alrighty. Um, you are going to put up a watchtower right here. Just specifically to screw with those guys. They'll be here soon, and then it'll be time to attack the English. And yes, I am bringing these villagers with me. Hey, Wallace has come! You know what I really love? What's that? If they did this kind of thing with Warcraft 3, but good... <laughs> so my first strategy is always to wall off this river because unlike um, real life walls actually work here and that was a, a very slap, slop, very slappy very sloppy dig of Trump oh goody so here's the thing I mobilize We're make William Wallace pay for it, of course. Well, William Wallace is gonna pay for it. I mobilize all of my units, and I said, I won't need any more stone. I've got enough to build a castle. Guess what walls were made out of? No, get back here. I need. Uh, damn it, I need you two to go back and mine stone. I could have just brought two of my guys over from up here, but I don't have time. English! Damn it. Future historians would be baffled at the two. two foot. <laughs> two feet of wall right by the swamp. Those are the remains of the third castle. But the fourth one stood up. Oh, oh, you're doing a Monty Python. Yeah. Unsurprising to literally anybody watching the stream, somebody did a Monty Python impression. Uh, or reference, I don't fucking know. <laughs> the reason I wall this off is to give myself a little bit of breathing room. Common strategy, very noob, I know, but I am a very conservative player. Um, 
and I'm hoping it's gonna fit. Good job with your new siege workshop. Yeah, I know, I know, buddy. We got it. We're cool. Shut up now. And I'll also put an archery range again, just a bit closer. And once you guys are done with this, are the uh? <laughs> oh, I need. Oh. oh. <laughs> Because unlike the real world, walls work, guys. In my defense, they work fine when you build them right. This is this is this is, <laughs> this is a beautiful comedy of errors. Okay, well, okay, screw it. I guess we're just gonna bum rush the army now. They drew first blood, and that's not the only strategy I have. That's right, I have a lot more up my sleeve than just a wall that doesn't work. You are going to be my eyes on the water by building a dock. Somewhere. So somewhere, I'm certain we will find a dock. Build me a dock. Dock maker, dock maker, build me a dock. What the? So what I was going to say was a strategy I also use is to build a dock on the river to control the river. That way I have, again, additional security as I begin the slow and painful incursion into English territory. But apparently... The water is suddenly too shallow. And you can still go around the wall. I swear they're fucking with me. I'm tired of this. We're going to be a bit more aggressive. <laughs> I locked the gate. I locked the gate because I didn't want my guys to go out. Oh, God. I promise you, I used to be good at this game. I used to be okay at this game. You used to not suck at the game. Okay, well, that's going a little harsh, because I haven't died yet. I've lost many units, but I haven't died. Th these are acceptable casualties, Brendan. They would drastically change... Oh my goodness, I can! Right there! Literally the only spot on this embankment that I can put a dock. But the strategy is back in session. Upgrade the war guild. And then the drastically boring setup phase will be complete and we can actually war. You find me gold. You are not doing what I asked. I told you to find me gold. And so far you're only finding me a boar and gold! Thank you. This is exactly what I needed. Gold! Alrighty. Um, you two, go all the way across the map, build a gold mine, and you send a bunch more to help, because siege weapons are expensive and so are priests, also in the game. So now the galleons will begin the initial assault on the gate, and the siege army will just come on in and do their thing. Um, when I unlock the gate for them. And now send in the rest of the army after them to support them, and this one is going to get messy. Like, there's, I'm sure there's a cleaner way to do this. You're not seeing high level play here. That shouldn't surprise anybody watching. Alrighty, just for high level play you're gonna have to go for a much better streamer. Yes. But I'm sticking to the classic strategies because that has worked out perfectly for me so far. Oh man, look at that wall come a tumbling down, just like a Jericho. Alrighty. Hey Mr. Villager, guess what you're gonna do? You're gonna single handedly build me a castle right smack there on the enemy doorstep. This is my equivalent of putting a big up a banner that says Mission Accomplished. To reference early 2000s, well, just late 2000s politics. That was, what, 2004? Uh, was that a uh, Bush thing? Yeah, that was a Bush thing. Uh, Mission Accomplished. We have been alive for entirely too long, and we're only 30. <laughs> we're playing a game now where we're destroying the lives of the innocent workers. 
All they wanted was to get through their day without being killed by an angry horde of Scotsmen. But guess what? That's not what the good Lord had planned for you. Maybe you should have had your pastor blow the wind of God upon it. The Scotsmen are gone! And they'll never come back. I have a foothold. The next step is to advance to the Imperial Age, get some trebuchets up, and go destroy that English castle. So I think we are pretty much over prepared for this. I didn't realize how ineffective the NPCs would be in the granted tutorial campaign. It is only 1239, and we are almost done this. I don't even know that These I need- in the castle aren't leaving their shots. Did you see that? They were shooting at where that villager was, instead of where it was going to be. Yeah. That's some ineffectiveness right there. I love, I love that you can zoom in and see that. That is, I've always wanted that feature. And that really shows off how incredible this is. Okay, so let's finish this up. This is getting uh, entirely too easy. I've got seven trebuchets all locked and loaded and ready to roll. They're just gonna come out one at a time and then... Watch them come out on the wrong side of the castle. Well, I mean... Okay, but... <laughs> the question is, how badly do I care about that? I guess the trebuchets can just take down the wall. Can you guys quickly convert the wall so I can delete it? At least one didn't. You guys can just do your thing and continue wiping every inch of English soil free of the English. I like RTS, but I will admit it's a time sink. Hey! hey. Once again, I was winning and not realizing it. The English castle of Paul Kirk is no more. Hot dog. Ooh, look at that. That's sexy. Mm. I left their monastery and their university unshattered. They still had faith and education. I am a piss poor conqueror. There are so many ways I could have broken their spirit before. Oh, look at that. All that gold I left untouched. Alright, well, let's get out of here. Like how you're talking about being a conqueror when you were fighting for your freedom. Well, I'm talking about me personally. So, this was boring, and from the first paddle event on, this is the viewable part. <laughs> Go back and look at just this. Return to map. Time of time of fifty six thirty one. That does not compute. Probably sped up. Probably sped up, you're right. <laughs>